Welcome back to the Athletes Corner Podcast. I'm Sebastian, and this week we're going to be talking about the Week 9 matchups um, and also going over what I thought was supposed to happen last week and what actually happened. So, um, But starting off, I want to go over a fan question that we had in the last episode. Um, so the question was, besides the number of games won, uh, why did they win? Was it better players, better coaches, fan support, player salary, um, or just team chemistry in general? Uh, and was it a one man? Uh, was it a one man show, or was it the whole team? So, obviously, this is referring to the World Series, and I'll have a um, MLB wrap up video pretty soon uh, podcast. But I wanted to go over this right now. Obviously, it was a fan question, so I want to get. Uh, priority to that um, so I believe the Astros were the better team all around every, every in every way possible but you know some sometimes it just it doesn't work out like that obviously the Astros got shut out twice and they were the best hitting team in the league for the most part um, I mean sure maybe not a lot of people thought they were going to win going into the um, into the playoffs but once they showed what they can do in the playoffs like they do every year for the most part, um, a lot of people thought they were going to be the Braves, and especially because the Braves were, were a team that came out of a pretty weak division, although it was close towards the end. Uh, that whatever 88-win season they had got them the division and eventually got them a the, uh, World Series. So, you know, anything can happen. Um, you saw it with the Nationals a few years back. Sometimes it just it just works. And I think team chemistry did have a lot to uh, work with the reason why they won because obviously they didn't have the better players. They did have... Some players that were better than some players in the Astros, but their whole team was not better. Um, coaching wise, I don't really think it had much of a f- factor either way. Um, I don't think Dusty Baker's that great of a coach, and obviously the Braves. Like, I I just think that was a whole. That's just it's whole. It's a whole different story when a team rallies like that. Um, they got out to an early lead, which helped them. But uh, fan support, they had fan. Every, the Braves had everyone across the MLB cheering for them. Um, other than the fans in Houston, everybody else wanted the Braves to win. So fans wise, they had the advantage there. Could have helped, you know. But player salary, I mean, Freddie Freeman and um, or like Acuna is their probably their biggest contract right now, and you know, and he didn't even play. He's probably their best player too. I mean, Freeman's a real good player, and he's the reason why they are where they are. Um, he's without them, they don't win that. Um, Solaire played great, obviously. He's one of those players um, that led that team, but they got um, they got great at bats from Jack Peterson. Players like that, Dansby Swanson's been consistently just good enough in the majors to to solidify their infield that was a power hitting infield. Um, Austin Riley played good all season. Um, Travis Darno is one of the better hitting catchers in the league. Um, you know, I, I think their pitching staff is good. Not as good as the Astros, in my opinion, but all around, I mean, I just they, I think they won because they had better chemistry. They played better together. They had all the fans behind them. They just it was their World Series to win, and I'm glad it happened. And I'm glad I predicted it uh, incorrectly because I didn't want to see the Astros win, like I said. But um, yeah, so good for the Braves. We'll talk more about that in a future episode. Um, but for now, let's get into the NFL. So this week's games, um, uh, obviously last week I struggled a little bit, went 9-6. and six. A few teams get, get pulled across some upsets. I did predict a couple upsets. I picked the Patriots again. Um, they finally stuck it out for me. But the Jets won last week against a real hot Bengals team, so that's going to have a lot of impl- implications this week. But, yeah, so 9-6, and six, a total 78-43. and 43. I'll take it. I mean, I'm well above 500, and I'll – I mean, that's, that's good for me right now. So um, starting off, the Thursday night matchup um, probably already happened by the time you guys are seeing this, but uh, Jets versus Colts, I, t- I think I'm going to take the Colts here. I mean, they're playing real well. The Jets aren't playing that great. I was full. I shouldn't say that. I mean, Mike White's played had a real good game. Um, but the Colts are hot, and the Colts are the Colts. They're better than the Jets. Jets just aren't good. Mike White could have another, even if he had a great game like that, I still don't think they win. Um, so I am going to take the Colts there. I think that's pretty easy. I don't know many people are going to take the Jets even with Mike White. So proud of him, though. I mean, he's coming in for the number two overall pick and perform. So, But, yeah, I'm going to take the Colts here. 
Uh, Raiders versus Giants. This could be a good game. I mean, a lot of people might not expect it, but the Giants barely lost to the Chiefs. I mean, that says a lot about the Chiefs. We'll get into that. But Giants barely lost to the Chiefs. Raiders did win last week. Raiders are dealing with the whole thing with Henry Ruggs on top of Gruden. Um, so you could see the Giants winning this game, but I do think the Raiders are a little bit more talented. So I am going to take the Raiders. If they don't let the off-the-field issues bother them, they will win this game. Um, but, yeah, they have a lot going on right now. And the the Giants are playing decent. You know, They're not playing bad. Um, they're not just a pushover team right now like the Jets may be before last week. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to take the Raiders there. Falcons versus Saints. Saints upsetted the Buccaneers last week. Um, Brady had one of his worst games of the season. Um, still, they played decent. I mean, the Saints played great. That's all I can say right there. Trevor Simeon played great. Obviously, James Winston's out for the season with an ACL, so I, I'm not sure. I guess they're starting Simeon over Taysom Hill, um, so I'm not sure why James Winston was even a debate against Hill at the beginning of the season if they weren't going to even start him when James Winston's out now, but that's not my decision. I am going to take the Saints over the Falcons, though, because the Falcons are the Falcons, and they're not that great. I mean, Cordell Patterson's good again, and Kyle Pitts is still good, but they lost Ridley for his own issues, and um, yeah, I mean, Matt Ryan's not playing great. They need to figure out their future quick because otherwise they're just going to waste Kyle Pitts' career because he's going to be a real good player. But, um, yeah, they're not going to beat the Saints, I don't think, even without Jameis Winston. So Saints over Falcons there. Uh, Bills versus Jaguars. I This was a no-brainer. I mean, the Bills are going to win this game. The Jaguars are something else right now. I mean, Trevor Lawrence just hasn't been playing great and I know he doesn't have the team around him right now but he's just a rookie quarterback that's just what it is and he's not playing great you know there's only one rookie quarterback that's playing serviceable right now every other quarterback rookie quarterback it looks like they were a 10th round pick like not even like undrafted free agent so I mean we'll see maybe they put up a fight but I don't see it at all this should be a blowout and I mean a no-brainer blowout too at that so yeah Bills over Jaguars there uh, Browns versus Bengals. Now, this is interesting because the Browns are supposed to be a powerhouse team right now, and that clearly isn't the case because they just lost to the Steelers, whose offense is the Steelers' offense. I mean, Najee's good. Deontay, uh, Deontay Johnson's uh, good. But Big Ben sucks. Claypool's not doing much. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, Browns, they are a good team, but they're dealing with their own things too with Odell and all that. So, um, I'm going to take the Bengals as an upset. Even though they lost against the Jets last week, they'll turn. I think they'll turn around. They're going to be a little angry they lost to the Jets. Joe Burrow's going to throw for some yards, throw for some touchdowns, and Jamar Chase will go off again. So I'm going to take the Bengals here. I think they can uh, pull together against the Browns. Uh, Patriots versus Panthers. I think the Patriots will win this game. Um, I've picked off. Uh, I've picked them for the past couple weeks now, and I've, I mean, they performed. They didn't win all of them, but they performed well, so I think they're going to do it again this week. You know, Mac Jones didn't play that well last week, but their defense stepped up. Adrian Phillips got Defensive Player of the Week, so um, if they can do that, you know, when their offense isn't playing well and their defense can play well, I mean, you know, they were even – their offensive rushing stats weren't good, but they were able to run the ball effectively, move the chains. So they, they were able to win that game, and, you know, they still played well, but they didn't play to how they played against the Cowboys. And, I mean, they lost against the Cowboys. So I think they can beat a lesser team uh, in the Panthers. Obviously, Stephon Gilmore's return here. But apparently Gilmore's only playing on third down because of his injury still. So, you know, that makes that begs the question. You know, I was talking about it earlier on the podcast. If Patriots were going to re-sign him, restructure his contract, do something, um, I thought they should have kept him. Obviously, a lockdown corner. But if he's, if he's only able to play one down right now, you know – risk reward for the Patriots was that really there and I mean obviously now he's playing for his hometown team I'm pretty sure so um I know he went to school there so you know you don't know but he's a good he, nonetheless he's a good cornerback but he's only playing one down for now for the foreseeable future I'm pretty sure so we'll see but um the Panthers are a different team with Christian McCaffrey and he's back this week so that's another uh storyline right there so I mean you could see the Panthers offense rejuvenated but Sam Darnold's out so like their quarterback situation is all murky, so I'm going to take the Patriots here. Broncos versus Cowboys. Now, Broncos, they won last week against the football team. I think the football team is just – I don't know if they'll ever be good at this point. Like, 
their defense is so good on paper and they just aren't good at all. Heineke's just he's fun to watch and he gets a he gets some stats and he's good on his feet. But it, I mean they're not winning ball games and that's what you need in the NFL. So um yeah, but I'll get to that. Uh, I mean they're on, I think believe they're on their bye this week, so we'll get to that next week, but um I'm going to take the Cowboys over the Broncos, with that being said. I mean, the Broncos just lost Von Miller, obviously throwing it in. I mean, their quarterback situation is still messed up. Like, Teddy Bridgewater is not that great. Uh, Drew Locke, obviously, he's not playing. So we'll see. I mean, I, I think they have to do something at some point. I mean, they're, I guess they won last week, yes, but it wasn't. I'm pretty sure they didn't, like, do anything crazy. So, uh, But the Cowboys are a real good team. One of the best offenses in the league. I believe they still only have one loss. So they lost week one, and that's it. So that's impressive. Um, so I think they will win this game. I don't think it'll be a problem for them at all. So Cowboys over Broncos here. Uh, Vikings versus Ravens. I think this could be more of an interesting game than a lot of people might think. Um, obviously, I'm more high on the Vikings than a lot of people, and I'm reading that they might uh, give the Dalvin Cook the ball even more, which is what they should do because he's their best offensive weapon. Justin Jefferson's playing good. Um, I mean, they're a decent team. But the Ravens are the Ravens, and, you know, I wasn't high on them in the beginning for good reason. But I'm going to take the Ravens here over the Vikings, you know. Um, Lamar Jackson, what he can do is just something that a lot of defenses can't stop. And, you know, when he's on, he's on. But so I'm I'm, I'm thinking he's going to have a good week this week and um, beat the Vikings. So I'm going to take the Ravens over the Vikings here. Texans versus Dolphins. Now this is fun because they're both one and seven. Uh, they their quarterback situation is a little weird. Tyra Taylor's coming back from injury. Uh, Tua Tagovailoa is is supposed to play, but his fingers messed up. So you know they got two banged up quarterbacks, two one and seven teams, two bad teams going at it. I mean I'm not sure how you could predict this game. You could go off the fact that Tyra Taylor hasn't played in a while. Uh, you can go off the fact that uh, the Dolphins played terrible against the Bills last week, but that is the Bills. But I'm going to assume the Dolphins are favorites. But, you know, when Tyra Taylor was healthy, he was playing good, you know. Uh, he has, like, what, six quarters of good football um, uh, on the season when he was healthy. So I'm going to take the Texans here over the Dolphins. I'm sure this might come as a little bit of a shock, but um, the Dolphins are way underperforming. Uh you know, like last year they played decent. You know, I think Brian Flores is going to lose his job pretty soon and then end up back with the Patriots, just like Matt Patricia. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think the Texans are going to win this game with Tyra Taylor coming back. I think that's going to be the big thing right now. Davis Mills isn't playing great, obviously. I mean, no one expected him to, but um, Tyra Taylor will give them a little bit, little bit of a spark, even though they're probably tanking um, for a quarterback. But... Yeah, I'm gonna say the Dol. Or I'm gonna say the Texans here over the Dolphins. Um, next game is the Chargers versus Eagles. Uh, Chargers should win this game, no doubt in my mind. I mean, the Eagles aren't good at all. I mean, they destroyed the uh, the Lions, but I don't think they're that great. They put up forty though, so that's that's something. But um, Chargers are a way better team. They played a good game last week. Wasn't able to win it against the Patriots, but. Um, they should have no problem beating the Eagles. Um, just they're on different levels right now. So I am going to take the Chargers to beat the Eagles there. Packers versus Chiefs. This is another interesting game because Aaron Rodgers is hurt, and that's a big deal. Like the the Packers, obviously, obviously is a big deal, but the Packers without Aaron Rodgers is a whole different team. I mean, they have a talented, a first-round quarterback, which – don't let me make me get into that, but they have a first round quarterback that's going to be coming in. Do I think they can win? Yes, but like I know the Chiefs' defense is bad, but it's a rookie quarterback. It doesn't matter if you have a bad defense; you're still a rookie quarterback who wasn't planning on playing this week. So who knows? I mean, this could go either way. But I think if it's offense versus offense, Chiefs have to win, right? I mean, I, yes. I mean, okay. I'd be a whole lot comfortable saying, say, a whole lot more comfortable saying the Chiefs if they played better against the Giants last week, but they didn't. So now I'm a little bit iffy on the Chiefs, and then the Packers are losing Rodgers. So I think this is almost as much of a toss-up as it is the Texans versus Dolphins. Like, how do you pick this game? I mean, the Chiefs' defense sucks, but it's a Packers quarterback that hasn't played a single snap in his 
uh, regular season career. So, like, what do you, I don't know how you decide this game, but I am going to take the Chiefs just purely off of the fact that Aaron Rodgers is hurt. I would have taken the Packers, but based on that, I'm taking the Chiefs, and I know the Chiefs aren't good, but they need a win, and um, they need a bounce back because they played bad last week. You know, Mahomes is, is struggling a little bit past two weeks, so we'll see, but I'm going to take the Chiefs there. Uh, Cardinals versus 49ers, probably would have taken the Cardinals, but DeAndre Hopkins and Kyler might not play, and George Kittle's back, so I mean, the 49ers might win this game, and I'm going to take the 49ers just based off those two injuries. Um, D-Hop, that's not big, a big deal, like if Kyler plays, I think they're going to win, but um, but I am going to take the 49ers regardless. Um you know, Kittle's back. They need to flow through him. I mean, that's he needs to be getting 10 targets a game. There's no way around it. Debo Samuel will be freed up a little bit more, and obviously he's playing great with without George Kittle, so adding him into the lineup, best blocker on the team besides Trent Williams. Like, just the running game improves, passing game improves. Kittle's one of the best players in the league, so good to see him back on the field, hopefully. I mean, he's supposed to play, so... I think the 49ers can win this game against the Cardinals, and it's a win they need. They're not in the race right now in that division, so they need to win this game um, to make themselves a game closer in the division. But, yeah, 49ers over Cardinals. Um, Titans versus Rams. This is probably going to be the best game of the week. I mean, they beat the Bills and the Chiefs when the Chiefs were supposedly still good. So, um, yeah, and then the Rams are obviously the probably power rankings top three right now. So, um I think the Rams are going to win this game, but don't... Oh, it's totally forgot. Derrick Henry's out. Uh, that changes everything. Um, I do. I mean, obviously, it's not going to change my pick. I still think the Rams are going to win, but we'll, we'll see how Adrian Peterson does, you know? I don't think he's going to get much this week, but next week, I think... the Supposedly, they're supposed to be keeping their same offense and running the rock a lot, so um, it won't be this week, but next week, we'll see a lot from uh, Adrian Peterson, which will be cool, but um, right now... Without Derrick Henry, I don't think the Titans have much of a shot. But, um, yeah, but I am going to take the Rams regardless. So uh, I don't think that really mattered on Derrick Henry. But that is an interesting thing to focus on the rest of the season because they need to get in the playoffs so that Derrick Henry can possibly return and uh, give them a shot at an AFC championship or something like that. So, yeah, Rams over Titans. Uh, Bears versus Steelers um, in Pittsburgh. You know, Steelers won against the Browns last week. I'm going to take the Steelers here against the Bears. Bears are not good at all. They didn't have Nagy last week, played a little bit better, but Najee Harris has been playing great. Uh, had a real good touchdown run last week. You know, the offense is playing okay, defense is playing okay. I mean, I mean, don't doubt the Steelers right now. Um, they they have a tough schedule, real tough schedule, but, you know, if any team can do it right now, I think it's them. So... We'll see, but I think Bears... I'm not sure if I pick many teams to lose against the Bears, to be honest with you. Even a team like the Lions, like, I don't know. I I think maybe you pick the Bears over the Jaguars, something like that, but, you know, I still should beat the Bears. I don't see any way around it. Bears' defense isn't good. Their offense is atrocious right now. Obviously, like I said, these rookie quarterbacks aren't playing well, so... Um, Granted, Justin Fields did play decent last week. Had a 200 yards pick and a touchdown, I think. Pick came late, so that was uh, garbage time. But um, also had that real good rushing touchdown on fourth and one. Came across one way, tripped a little bit, and then came around the other way and scored. So that was a real good play, but I was that was late too. But, um, yeah, I'm going to take the Steelers there. Uh, so those are my week nine picks. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Athletes Corner podcast. Um, and make sure to come back for the next one. Leave any likes uh, or leave any comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys next week.